Hi everybody. Today I want to go over the disclosure document for our class. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but I wanted to emphasize a few points. After that, you're going to read the rest yourself and then take the open book disclosure document quiz. Um, first, recommended supplies. There's a whole list, but two I want to mention. Um, I recommend that you have a physical notebook for this class, even though we're going to be doing plenty of our writing online. It will be nicer for you if we're doing brainstorming or just reflections for you to write by hand. And if for some reason I want you to turn it in, then you can just take a picture and post that to the assignment. Another thing I recommend is a digital kitchen timer. You can get these cheap at Target or Safeway. Um, you can time on your phone or on the computer, but those things can be distracting if we're doing like a mindfulness exercise. It's nice to just have a straight up timer. Um, speaking of phones, I wanted to reiterate our phone policy. Phones aren't allowed in this class because they are terrible for learning, and I will teach you more about that next week. But whether we're online or in the physical classroom, your phone needs to be completely away, completely off. In fact, I recommend that you put it in your backpack, um, not your pocket, like out of sight, out of our sight, out of your sight. Um, next, books versus digital texts. I have PDF versions of all of the texts for this class, um, but actually reading a real book is better for your comprehension and it's gonna be way nicer for you to not be on the computer so much. Um, however, in the spring when we gave out books, we didn't get a lot of those back. And so if for some reason you are able to buy any of the texts that we read, usually they're classics and they're cheap, um, that would be recommended because then you can write in it, you can lose it, and it's all yours. If you cannot buy it, you're not required to buy the books for this class, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I will get you, I can get you a hard copy of the book. But if you have the option to buy it, that would be great. And then lastly, please carefully read this part about academic integrity and plagiarism. Um, we need to start talking about that right away. Sometimes students don't even know when they're plagiarizing. You should always credit your sources if you are crediting an idea or using a sentence. And you should only be using sources that are approved for the project or the book that we are working on. And I'll talk more about that later. So. Please go now and read the rest of the disclosure document, that's hard to say, yourself, and then take the quiz and you'll be done.